So did a video. So I did a vid about how to stop being a victim and harden the fuck up. How to harden the fuck up. How to stop being a victim and harden the fuck up. It's just a choice in the moment. And we've got a comment here from Brian. Heavy shit is not a choice. If freely died, you'd cry and cry and cry. Trust me, some things you cannot fix, and you have just have to suffer for a while and get over it. But it's not a fucking choice. You are dead wrong. You cannot choose your feelings when bad stuff happens. You can choose how you react after, but you always will be the victim for a bit as long as you get over it. It's called grieving, and it's natural. Do not knock it. But yeah, no one should sell that forever. I agree, Brian. I never said that it's... I guess I should be clear that 100% happy 100% of the time is bullshit because that's just not how life works. You know, things are going to happen, and you're going to have some anger or some depression or some frustration or whatever and that's fine it's normal it's healthy but it's dwelling on that after the thing's gone which is sort of inappropriate it's a waste of time and energy so let's say freely died what would i do i'd be i'd be very very sad probably have a little bit of a party but no no seriously i'd be sad it's unfortunate but what am i going to do i can't change the fact what would freely want me to do would she want me to become an alcoholic or get back into drugs and shit no fucking way so if you care about someone if you care about someone, you won't abuse yourself. That's being selfish and fucked up. That's using that as an excuse, having a little pity party, a little tea party. Poor me. This happened in my life, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rule my life or whatever because someone died or something happened to me. Well, that's just bullshit. So what we want to do is, oh, when my dad died, this is a good example, my dad died. I cried for a few minutes. I was really, you know, when my brother rang me up and said, Dad died, I was like, fuck, man, that's pretty heavy. But I remember in 1986 on a camping trip, my dad said, I'm going to die one day, I'm a lot older than you guys, I'm probably going to die before you guys do, so, you know, I don't, I don't want you to be sad, I want you to stay being healthy, enjoy life, get outdoors, etc. We had this little conversation, and I was about eight years old at the time, I was like, wow, this is pretty heavy, but it, I stuck in my head forever, you know, I remember where we were in southwestern Australia on a camping trip, and I was like, wow, that's, that's powerful, so when my dad did die, I already had that seed planted from my dad himself, saying, don't be sad, be happy, enjoy your fucking life. And that was in February 2009. So I, I got so inspired after that. That's when I started cranking more YouTube, smashing out our forum. So I'm like, I've got to get the message out here, it's health message. So I quickly turned that sadness, little bit of depression, whatever, into like positive you know, flourishment. And I don't know if my dad was here today. He'd be very proud of that. So you want to live by the values of the people you cared about that, who instilled upon you. Positivity. It's fine to feel negative or whatever, but it's bullshit to carry it on. We have to harden the fuck up, build a bridge and get over it. So I agree with Brian here that it's it's not natural or normal to stay. People go, oh, well, I've got, I've got a condition. No, 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 you don't. It's called a fucking choice. It's called a fucking choice. No, no, but like that, they said I've got this. No, you fucking, you choose it, man. It's your fucking mind. You choose what you want to fucking think with and how you want to use it. You fucking choose what you want to think. It's simple as fucking that. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. You control your fucking mind. I don't control it. NASA doesn't control it. The fucking aliens don't control it. You fucking control it. And when you lose control of it, that's when your life drops down. So if you want your life to go back up, control what you fucking think. Only you can control it. Simple as that. So I think we covered that one. <laughs> but it's seriously straightforward, man. What we think about comes about. So it's it's normal and healthy to feel negative emotions. I agree. Let's just not dwell on shit. Let's get build a bridge and get over it. Let's help other people. Let's live by the values instilled upon us by people we cared about and we loved, etc. Let's just do it, man. Life's short. Life's so short. Why do anything you don't want to do? You know? You've only got one life. Guaranteed one life. It might be heaven, whatever. We know right now, one life. Make the fucking most of it.